This episode covers the sixth and final North Island section of our Teraroa through hike. 336 kilometers of hiking from Wanganui to Wellington over the mighty Tararua mountain range. Alrighty, so we made Palmas the North. Now we just have to run a few errands and do our resupply. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that was lovely, darling. Alright. After a quick resupply in Palmas the North, we headed up towards the mountains. First up, Burton's Track. An historical track with a lot of river crossings. We're coming up on the first river crossing of the track today. Awesome. The next river crossing. You see where we meet the trail again. There's an orange triangle over there. There it is. Where the fun begins. Yes. We're doing a little Tierra detour. We didn't want to drop out of the Tierra to resupply since we carried enough fruit from Palms and North. So we're going to go to the Mangaha Flats hut next and then meet up with the trail tomorrow. It was really nice to finally be off the roads and back up in the bush again. The old one person at a time, bird. Yep. <laughs> How'd you find that one? Ah, uh, it was pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> and long. High and long and yeah. slippery. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. This track followed the Mangaha River Valley up into the mountains. A pretty rough track with a lot of slips and fallen trees. A lot of tree walks on this trail. Quite cool. Yeah, it's amazing. Beautiful river. Yeah. So we're heading to our hut in the ranges. <laughs> <laughs> the Tararua Ranges. Is that right? Yes. And look, blue sky. Things are looking promising for the future. It's summer, but temperatures still drop at night. Just two days ago, it was snowing up here. If in doubt, go up. <laughs> if in doubt, go up. Yeah. So, uh, quite a lot of work this trail, but... Dropping down to another river crossing. One of many slips on this trail. So we're in the process of climbing up and over. Moment. Because all rivers need to start small, this is the headwaters for the big river we've been crossing a few times the past few days. Beautiful. So we've come out of the river, up onto a saddle, onto this lower ridge. And we're going to meet up with the higher ridge up there. We came up this valley and came up this ridge here, up to here. And the Tierra Trail comes up, what, that long ridge? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. 
huge river we crossed yesterday. That's the source. Coming right off the mountain. Beautiful. The Tara River Range runs northeast to southwest for 80 kilometers from Palmerston North to the Hutt Valley. It has 15 peaks above 1,500 meters and is notorious for bad weather and high winds. So we just came up our first mountain in the Tararuas, Puka mm -hmm. mm. And having a wee lunch here, but all the clouds started rolling in, so we're almost white out up here. Mm -hmm. But there was blue skies behind it, so it should blow over. Let's get down from this mountain. Let's go get some shelter in a hut. Yeah, let's go do that. <laughs> trees around here is completely enclosed in moss. It's really eerie. <laughs> Last few caves towards Nicholas Hut. Cleared up a bit and got a bit warmer. Very nice. Yeah. So we, the hut's on the other side of that ridge. Okay. So we've got to follow this ridge. Yeah. And up okay. over the other side to the hut. Okay. It's hard work up here. Very hard work. Yeah. Scrambling around the ridges up here in the Tauru Ranges. Heading that way. So we're making our way up the last ridge before we reach Nicholas Hut, just below Mount Crawford. Over there. Today was done well. We had lunch at the top of Pumakatawai and traverse this ridge all the way here. Well done, darling. <laughs> well done. Good end to a 10 hour long day. <laughs> yeah. Extending down to our hut for the night. There it is, there. Welcome sight. Epic. Oh yeah, that's what you want to see. Full house in the hut that night. Nichols hut sleeps six. We were eight hikers that night. We woke to an absolute magical sunrise in the mountains as the clouds were rising out of the valleys. Walking the ridge this morning to Mount Crawford. Got perfect weather. No wind. We were first to leave the hut that morning and had the mountains pretty much to ourselves all day. We just summited Mount Crawford this morning, coming out of Nicholas Hut. That's down there in a saddle on the ridge. Perfect conditions. No wind. Oh, oh, oh! Ow! After the summit follows a spectacular ridge walk, followed by a pretty grueling descent. <laughs> nice. Cold? A bit cold? <laughs> so after a long, near vertical, knee crushing descent from the ridge. We're at the hut for lunch. Quite nice. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. yeah. So we went for a swim in the freezing cold river and uh, yeah, now having a hot drink to warm back up. Yeah. Come on, he says. I'll just do the filming. I have no hands to hang on. <laughs> I'm glad we got a bridge over this river, darling. Hmm. Parawai Lodge hut. Looks pretty cool. Someone's here. Yeah. So it's the day before New Year's and this is our last day in the park. Yes. 
Bye bye Tararua. And where are we going for celebrate New Year's, darling? Uh, where can I? I have no idea what no that idea. little place is like, <laughs> but we'll find out. out of the Tararua range onto clear cut. Hmm. Stark contrast. Yeah. <laughs> Walking into Waikanae on New Year's Eve. Pretty chill. Angels in this beautiful place. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. On the road again. So happy New Year's everyone. Cheers. Cheers. It's a morning cheers from us. We're not night people anymore. <laughs> we couldn't stay up on top of the night, come on. <laughs> Walking down the famous Capity Coast. Yep. What's it famous for, darling? I don't know. I know that there's ice cream. Ice Kapiti cream. Ice cream. That's good stuff. I know there's an island out there. Kapiti Island. Kapiti Island. That's about uh, it. Yeah, I don't know too much more about it. <laughs> it's Gartman Trail. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's where we're heading today. Yeah. We'll show you more of that later. So, just came under the, the highway there and we're on the escarpment track. Steep. Exposed. On the edge. You ready? I'm ready. Walking into Wellington, our primary focus was to organize the food drops for the South Island. Did our resupply and we had to call an Uber to get back to the hostel because this is a big one. <laughs> Ready for the post office. Alright, resupply for the South Island is posted and now we just have hope it all gets there as it's supposed to so we can eat for the next uh, three weeks. It felt a bit surreal to finally be on the ferry south, but we're really excited about the South Island. We have arrived in Picton. Hello, South Island. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.